my dear students welcome back to our channel in this video i will be explaining the bba second semester subject business statistics as prescribed by usmania university and other universities of telangana we will go through the important questions and answers one by one let's begin with a quick revision unit 4 first important short question is define skewness Skewness tells us whether the data is symmetrical or tilted to one side. In simple words, skewness shows how much a distribution is lopsided. There are three types. One, positive skewness, tail is on the right side and most values are on the left. Example, income of people, few earn a lot, most earn less. Two, negative skewness, tail is on the left side. and most values are on the right example exam scores many students scored high few scored low 3 zero skewness data is symmetrical like a perfect bell curve example heights of adults in a population easy trick to remember tail tells the tail where the tail goes that's the type of skewness Skewness helps in understanding the nature of data whether it's balanced or has extreme values on one side. It is useful in business, economics and exam analysis. Next important short question is to write in detail about kurtosis. Kurtosis tells us how sharp or flat the peak of a distribution is. In simple words it shows whether the data has more or fewer extreme values outliers than a normal distribution there are three types of kurtosis one mesocortic normal bell shaped curve example heights of students in a class two leptocortic very sharp peak with more extreme values fat tails example stock market returns usually normal but sometimes big jumps three platycurtic flatter peak with fewer extreme values thin tails example test scores where everyone scores similarly easy trick to remember lepto is equal to lean plus peak tall peak platy is equal to plate flat like a plate why is it useful Kurtosis helps businesses and researchers understand risk or consistency in data. For example, if returns are leptocurtic, it means there is higher risk due to outliers. It adds more detail to data analysis along with mean, median and standard deviation. Next unit 4. Long questions. First important long question is advantages and disadvantages of skewness and kurtosis advantages of skewness one gives shape of data skewness helps us understand whether the data is balanced symmetrical or tilted example income distribution is usually right skewed most people earn less a few earn more two helps in better decision making Knowing skewness helps businesses to plan accurately. Example, if demand is skewed in one season, companies can stock products accordingly. 3 improves statistical analysis. It alerts analysts when normal distribution assumptions are wrong. Disadvantages of skewness. 1 difficult to interpret alone. Skewness does not give the complete picture without other data like mean or median. Two affected by outliers. A single high or low value can change the skewness a lot. Advantages of kurtosis. One tells about risk outliers. Kurtosis tells us whether the data has extreme values, fat tails. Example. Leptocurtic data in share market shows higher chances of gains or losses. Two complements other tools. Along with standard deviation and mean, kurtosis gives a complete picture of data spread. Three useful in quality control. In industries, 
It helps to identify if processes are producing too much variation. Disadvantages of kurtosis 1. Less commonly understood Many students and business people find kurtosis confusing and avoid it. 2. Hard to interpret in isolation Just like skewness, kurtosis needs support from graphs or other statistics to be useful. Summary tip to remember Skewness is equal to data tilt. Kurtosis is equal to peak sharpness and outliers. Together, they help in analyzing real-world data better, especially in finance, business forecasting, and quality control. Next important long question is to calculate Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness. Given Step-by-step -step explanation Step 1. Find midpoints. Take the middle value of each class. Example, midpoint of 10 to 20 is equal to 10 plus 20, 2 is equal to 15. Step 2. Calculate mean. Use formula. x is equal to fxf. Mean is equal to 33.6. Step 3. Find median. Use formula. Median is equal to L plus N to CF F H. N is equal to total frequency is equal to 100. Median is equal to 34.0. Step 4. Find standard deviation. Use. Sigma is equal to F X X to F. Standard deviation is equal to 12.33. Step 5. Apply Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness. Formula. Skewness is equal to 3, x median, sigma. Is equal to 3, 33.634.0, 12.33. .33. Is equal to 0 0.097. Final result. Mean is equal to 33.6. Median is equal to 34.0. Standard deviation is equal to 12.33. Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness is equal to minus 0.097, slightly negatively skewed. Next important long question is. 3. Calculate Boley's coefficient of skewness. Given data. Total frequency, n is equal to 7 plus 10 plus 16 plus 25 plus 18 plus 11 plus 8 equals 95. Step 1. Calculate cumulative frequency, CF. Step 2. Find Q1, first quartile. Use the formula. Q1 is equal to value of n slash 4 at item. Is equal to 95, 4 is equal to 23.75 th item. From the cumulative frequency table, 23.75 lies in x is equal to 2. So, q1 is equal to 2. Step 3. Find q3, third quartile. q3 is equal to value of 3n4 th item. Is equal to 3 times 95, 4 is equal to 71.25 th item. From the CF table, 71.25 lies in X is equal to 4. So, Q3 is equal to 4. Step 4. Find median Q2. Q2 is equal to value of N slash 2 th item. Is equal to 95 2. Is equal to 47.5 th item. From the table, 47.5 lies in x is equal to 3. So, median is equal to 3. Step 5. Apply Boley's coefficient of skewness. SK Boley is equal to Q3 plus Q1 to times median Q3 Q1 is equal to 4 plus 2 to times 3, 4, 2 is equal to 6, 6, 2 is equal to 0, 2 is equal to 0. Final answer. Boley's coefficient of skewness is equal to zero. This means the distribution is symmetrical, no skewness. Next important long question is. 
4. Calculate Boli's coefficient of skewness for the following data. Given cumulative frequency table. Sales, rupees lakhs, no of companies, less than. Below 5080. Below 6200. Below 7400. Below 8650. Below 9800. We first convert this into a class interval table. Class interval frequency F. 40 to 50 80. 50 to 60 200 minus 80 equals 120. 60 to 70 400 minus 200 equals 200. 70 to 80 650 minus 400 equals 250. 80 to 90 800 minus 650 equals 150. Total number of companies, N, is equal to 800. Step 1, find Q1, Q2, median, and Q3. Q1 is equal to N slash 4 is equal to 800 by 4 is equal to 200th item. Find the class where the 200th item lies. Cumulative frequency. 40 to 50, 80. 50 to 60, 80 plus 120 equals 200. So Q1 lies in 50 to 60 class. Use formula. Q1 is equal to L plus N slash 4 CF F times H. Where L is equal to lower boundary is equal to 50. N slash 4 is equal to 200. CF is equal to cumulative frequency before Q1 class is equal to 80. F is equal to frequency of Q1 class is equal to 120. H is equal to class width is equal to 10. Q1 is equal to 50 plus 280, 120 times 10. Is equal to 50 plus 120 slash 120 times 10 is equal to 50 plus 10, is equal to 60. Q2 is equal to N slash 2 is equal to 400th item. Q2 lies in 60 to 70 class. Q2 is equal to 60 plus 400, 200, 200 times 10, is equal to 60 plus 200 slash 200 times 10, is equal to 60 plus 10, is equal to 70. Q3 is equal to 3 and 4 is equal to 600th item. Q3 lies in 70 to 80 class. CF before Q3 class is equal to 400. F is equal to 250. Q3 is equal to 70 plus 600, 400, 250 times 10. Is equal to 70 plus 200 slash 250 times 10 is equal to 70 plus 8, is equal to 78. Step 2. Use Boli's coefficient of skewness formula. SK Boli is equal to Q3 plus Q1 to times Q2, Q3, Q1. Is equal to 78 plus 62 to times 70, 78, 60. Is equal to 138, 140, 18. Is equal to 2, 18 is equal to 0 0.11. Final answer. Boli's coefficient of skewness is equal to 0 0.11. This means the distribution is slightly negatively skewed, longer tail on the left.